for those adults that find themselves living back with their parents um, after they've been on their own for a long time due to life circumstances or you know poor choices letting life lead the way for any number of reasons find yourselves back home with your parents how are you doing like seriously how are you doing because I know that never in a million years that I think I'd be living back with my parents. I left home when I was 18, went to school. I stayed gone till I, until now. And um, yeah, it's really, it's quite an ego hit. I'm not going to lie. Um, I think some of my, pro my issues have been with motivation and things like that. It's just that I quite frankly, like have low self-esteem. Um, I find it very embarrassing that I live with my parents. I don't really have friends. My, my ex was pretty much my only friend, my best friend who I talked to and told everything to and you know, I don't have him anymore. And I have no desire to seek out new friends or to reconnect with old friends because I'm back in my hometown, which again, I'm not happy to be here, but I am grateful. Let me, let me say that. I am grateful that my parents allowed me to move back in and really do support me um, too much, honestly. Uh, I feel bad living there, to be quite frankly. And I... I'm ashamed that I, that my decisions led me back home and yeah, like I don't, I don't even want to reconnect with old friends because it's embarrassing. It is embarrassing. I don't want to say I live with my parents. Like what a, what a loser. Like what a loser. That's what I feel like. And quite frankly, that is what I am. I am a loser right now in life. Like, there's no getting around it. I'm trying to, you know, drag myself up out of the hole that I find myself in. But it's, it's going to take time. It's going to take a lot of hard work, a lot of discipline and persistence and, and you know, good habits. Making good choices instead of letting my old bad habits take control which they so often do but living at home as an adult really sucks um, but on the other hand I am very grateful that I had family to fall back on honestly um, without them I don't know what I would be doing to be honest and I'm very, very grateful. However, I'm working my hardest to get out of there. And I'm doing my hardest right now, and I haven't been. I'm the first to admit that I have been really, for the last year, been really in my own head and feeling bad about myself and not doing what I should be doing to get out of um, this situation. So. You know, I'm starting to do it now, better late than never, I guess. But it still is a big ego hit and really, really um, not demotivating, but just you feel like a, like a loser. And when you feel like a loser, you act like a loser. And that's what I have been doing. So I'm done acting like a loser. I still kind of feel like a loser, but I hope that through my actions I start seeing things happening and feel less like a loser and have a more positive outlook on life. Because right now it's really grim. You know, and I could blame COVID or, you know, inflation, all the stuff that's been happening in the last few years on as to why I ended up in this situation, but honestly it was it was my decisions, not very well thought out decisions that led me here. And now I'm facing the consequences. But 
I just, I don't know why I was going this big, but I just want to say that if you find yourself trying to dig out of a giant hole that you don't think you're going to get out of, just keep climbing. Just do, the, do whatever you can each day to climb out of that hole because if you get stuck inside your head, nothing happens. In fact, I think the opposite of nothing, or the opposite of even worse than nothing happening is you go backwards. Go back into old habits and you move backwards instead of forwards or even staying still. So, like, for those of you that are back home with their parents, like, how are you doing? How is your mind? Because I know mine is not awesome. Um, it's, you know, I'm trying to take control and make positive actions towards my goals. And that's really what's keeping me focused. I'm staying busy. I'm not wallowing, which I was. I'm just trying to get better. Like, what else can I do? And it's just going to take time, and it sucks that it takes time. But I didn't get myself into this posi position overnight, and I'm not going to get out of it overnight. I need to accept that. The good thing is uh, we have a roof over our heads and uh, I have the time to be able to build a better life. So I am grateful for that. It's just the whole, it's just the whole situation sucks, you know. I was, what is, what keeps going on in my head is that I was a stay-at-home mom. I was a stay-at-home mom for the last 10, 11 years longer than that yeah about 11 years i'd say and um now i'm back i i'm not going back i had a career for 10 years before as a stay-at-home mom so stay-at-home mom for like 10 years and now i need to now i'm figuring out what i'm doing now i'm going it i'm going to school taking courses to, so that i can work and do a job that I actually want to do and not just one that I fell into because the, my previous job, although it was good, I liked it enough. I didn't love it, but paid the bills and I liked the people that I worked with. Um, but I did not want to go back to that job and I knew when I left it, I was not going to go back to it. And I'm, I still have no intentions of going back to it, but um, it's... You know, see, even right now, I feel like I'm just like wallowing. These are all the things that have happened, but we have to overcome this because what other choice do we have? What other choice do we have? So, I mean, I'm not going to be a big ray of sunshine to anyone that's living at home with their parents again. But I just want to check in and say how you're doing. And if you're feeling blue and down and have low self esteem, yeah, that sounds a bit right. But. There are ways to try to get out of it. And what I'm doing now is setting goals and keeping busy working towards those goals is helping me get through it. And I hope to see a light at the end of the tunnel sometime. Right now, I'm still in a hole trying to climb my way out. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I just I don't even know. It's kind of another rambler, but um, you know, you're not alone. This sucks. And the decisions we made got us here. So you can own up to the mistakes you made and the actions or inactions you took that led you to where you are now. And that's half the battle. Just accept it. Yes, I messed up. And push forward. And that's all we can do to get out of this bad situation. And quite honestly, I might be being, being dram dramatic by bad situation. It's mostly because I just feel like a loser. So I'm trying to not feel like a loser. Uh, yeah, and living at home, I mean, my parents are nice people. But I don't want to be there. I do not want to be there. Like, it's not where I should be. And I'm doing my best to get out of it. And I hope you are too. And if you're not, maybe this video is a sign that just take one step towards the direction that you want to go in. Take one step, and then another, and then another, and then another, okay? So, 
So hopefully I found this video somewhat useful. I don't know, but um, yeah, let's just keep going. I'll catch you in the next one.